Hello there. So in this video, we're going to create AI music, create AI prompt, create AI images, and link music and animations inside the AI. So every step, everything was well created by AI. All what we're doing, we take those components and put them together, compile and make this music video that driven by the beat from the music that created by AI. And best of all, everything right here with one small exception can run on your local machine. So let's go ahead and start working on that. To create this music video, we're going to use it several services. Stable diffusion with local installations and it's using automatic 1111 distributions. We're also going to install music generator on your own local machine, which is utilized GPU, but we also will use it at least two different applications that is online. One, we're going to use it the JAT GPT. You can also use it open chat GPT on your local machine if you need it. And also we will using the frame sync XYZ to extract some keyframe from our music. And this one is online application. I said sadly not everything can be run locally at this point, but everything is free for you to use. First, if we're going stable diffusion to use for this, you'll need to have it installed. If you not yet have stable diffusion installed, I'll provide a link for you in the description and additional videos. We're going step by step how to install stable diffusion and how to install the forum. It's what we're going to use. So next, we need going to install music generator. And music generator will utilize some GPU and CUDA. And because of that, it will require special installations different from stable diffusion. This is not very hard if you follow step by step. First, I'm assuming you have a Git already installed in your machine and we need this to pull out some repository to our computer as well you have it python by requirements of audio audio craft it does require a python 3.9 i have it currently running python 3.10 and it's work fine with no problem so if you have it already installed it you don't need to worry about this next you need to install tiny code and for this one you can run the install PyTorch with cuda if you not yet have done um, another people and me also have the problem when it's come up with error on this case you want to run first uninstall PyTorch first and then install with a CUDA in time in installations you may run to some dependency in error like in my case but they did not affect functionality and they work a little bit misconfiguration with other libraries but Again, they did not affect how the application was performed. After this, you need to go and create directory where you go to install your Nerf. If you just even follow the instruction install Nerf Studio, this is what we needed. You need to install Nerf Studio. You need to git clone first in your directory. Go inside this directory and run additional commands. All of this links to all instructions as instruction itself will be down in the description so you can easy copy and paste. Keep in mind that last one is very sneaky because it's have this dot on the end and you need the sneaky sneaky dot to make sure installation run properly. After all your installation completed and all application, all source code that you need on your computer, you should have a directory with your all code inside. And that should be all for the installation. All what you need to do after this, just run Python app space app dot Python inside the audio craft folder. And in the end, you should have it, the server running. The port may change because in currently I run at the same time the stable diffusion and I run the audio craft. And this is running on two different ports. So you can run them at the same time. You can access audio craft by clicking on a link, hold down control and click on the link or just copy and type directly path or address with a port inside the browser. After you will access the page where you can see music gen and um, interface. Very fast going over interface. Here's your input. That's where you put it. What do you want it? In my case, techno, hip hop, dancing. You can also use it another file or music file mp3 for example as sampling and they have it down below right here so you can 
verify. You also below you have a choice for the model, melody, medium, small or large. It depends how assembly you want it. Large it takes some space and it's run okay on my machine. But if you have less memory or VRAM, maybe you want to stick to the melody or small. Durations by default will set to 10 seconds. Maximum is 30 seconds. You also have an additional photo up K-pop and temperature, all this additional information for the music that you can play around. That's all. I mean, it's not sad, not very much stuff you can do right here. So let's go next. For example, we can go and create, let's create five seconds just as a sample. Just type five seconds and click submit. And our server output, we can see it will start creating for us music generating. And after short done the time it's done so we can listen there you go downloads you can play a little bit more with input i have a very primitive simple text just for the test you can create something more interesting and variable so because it's creating music for, was first step next i want to create um blocks of the description that we can use it inside this stable diffusion and in this case, I was using ChatGPT. My write was write six prompts. And the reason is six prompts because my original was 30 seconds music. And 30 seconds music, I want to divide for about six. We'll provide with 12 frames per second. Um, it's a 360 frames. We can divide very easy and use about 60 frames per each prompt. So the reason why it was six prompt, you can create as many as you want it or as less. This is also a put a description says divide them and give me information like we're going through a um, sci-fi planet, maybe fly through from one scenery to another. Just explain what we're going to use it the motion inside the stable diffusion because I'm going to use it zoom and I want that my scenery resemble a zoom. So going from one area to another and judge GPT actually produce very good views. You can see right here, all what I done, I just copy these descriptions and use them inside my stable diffusion. Let's go jump inside stable diffusion. First, what I want to do, it is verify that those um, descriptions are work properly and they're showing me. So right here, for example, first descriptions, and I'm using the RPG version four, we're using sampling meter DPM 2M cars, 35 steps. I'm using wide screen preview in some cases if you want you can use the vertical or any other ones for the shorts maybe it's what we're doing afterwards and rest is saying 6.5 for cfg scale you can try using different settings overall this is just to help us to see how it's an image what is will be looking alike next we're going inside the form and first in run will same same sampler dpm 2k cars we have it match our steps we could use the same seed, but because we changing from one view to another, I decide not to use it. So seeds will be randomly created in this case. In the keyframes, we have a 2D dimensions. We'll set no currents. So we have it every frame will replicate uh, new. And we use it 360 frames. It's 30 seconds. Notice the three, 36, uh, 360 frames mass matching with your output in my 12 frames per second. So this is the reason why I'm using. If you're using 15 frames per second, then you need to trim down to 300 frames. So if we're going down, you'll notice right here, this CFG scale. This is our scale that allowed us how closer we're going to the prompt or a little bit more flexibility. What I done here, each time when we're going to original prompt, I want to keep it closer. But as we're going outside or we want to change scenery, I relax and allow a little bit more creativity or less. So in this case, just play around with these numbers and the general DPN frames. If you keep them closer to when you change your descriptions, you can allow a little bit better transitions between each of them. And when I say change between where you no know, descriptions are to the prompts, for example, 0, 60, 100, 20, 180, 243. 100 so this is a frames where we're going to change every 60 frames rotation on this between six frames and you can notice right here change so in this case i want to be sure closer to the 60 closer to 120 and other ones so this is how we're going to change okay let's go back to our keyframes and this is what resample here as well 
now we're going to the zoom and zoom it's what create kind of interesting for us um, generation because if you notice in video we're zooming in and out to create the zoom we want to go to our application frame sync FY, download it choose the file that we want to use it and this file you can honestly when you generate it click on download and save on your local computer after upload it to the frame sync this is will create for us the bit or frames you look down below we have it our frames the one thing just keep it in mind that our zoom if you have it one and above we zoom in if we have it below one it's a zoom out we don't want to jump back and forward it does not look good so my main things was right here to play with amplitude to shrink a bit down how the uh, value between lowers and house does not make two big jumps and also to shift down and up to make them a little bit more um, adjust uh, bottom adjust so for example i look on my lowest value when i have it 99 which below like a frame 12 i think it was the lowest and based on the lowest frame i pop up to the one so nothing no frames was below one on this case i know my progression on the zoom always will be forward does not jog back and forward and it will be actually create a little bit smoother amplitude how smooth is different and our shift up and down it is a limitation how um, what base point of our zoom will be after this just go click copy keyframes go back to standard and paste them inside the zoom okay next let's go to our prompts we already kind of mentioned here before and usually i created from zero frame and prompt zero frame and our description most important for you when you create frames is be sure you have it quote frame separator it's a column another the quote open close separate by comma this is a very simple um way but problem i found sometimes if i have it some quotes inside accidentally or some other ones from posting text this is will break down and give it error so this has happened before to me a few times just pay attention when you copy paste text usually they are very clean but just in case you may accidentally erase or quote or comma this is also prompt you can generate as many you want it usually i prefer to generate for about 60 seconds at least or something it will create more interesting transitions and movements but i always speak about transition and movements i did not touch any uh, trans uh translation or any movements xyz you could actually switch to 3d and make a little bit more interesting camera rotations but for this test i don't want to do this we'll just go keep it a little bit too simplified okay next we have it our prompts we don't use any initialization or control net as well as hybrid vi videos on output i want to be sure i'm using 12 frames per second in this case and also i'm using add my music so i create file and add soundtrack in this case when video will be created it will take this music and put it inside so i don't need afterwards edit or do anything everything will be parked in one nice video file okay one more kind of tip what i want to recommend you if you go to frames and you go to anti blur just pop up a little bit your sharpness i found out when zoom primarily happening you will have it more blur applied to the image you want increase a little bit on the amount of the anti blur at least on a frame like maybe about eight ten frame this is when it's happened so just a little bit keeping sharper um, image after all the settings just run one more time verify that you have it, everything set properly and click generate depend on the resolution on the speed of your computer it may take anywhere from the 20 30 minutes and up and in the end you should have an interesting music video with a kind of motion created to the beat of the music that created by ai and at this point we are created the text prompt inside the ai we created images inside the ai we generating music inside the AI and we created animations based on the music rhythm and beat inside the AI. It's kind of an interesting way to create it. Of course, we require a little bit more uh, testing and explorations. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Let me know what you think. If you have any additional suggestions or tips, 
and have a great time creating your. Music.